Hi, this is PlugAndPlayKits.com, and in this video, we're going to show you how to install a remote starter on a 2012 through 2014 Toyota Camry G key. The first step is you're going to remove the sill plate. The second step is you're going to remove the kick panel. There's a little nut and the rest are just pop clips. Now you're going to remove the side dash panel. You're now going to remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the corner of the dash. You're now going to remove the screw on the other corner. You're now going to pull down the under dash. It's just clips. Once removed, lay down out of the way. As you can see, we've already pre-loosened this to speed up this video. There are four 10 millimeter bolts to remove the airbag. Remove and set down out of the way. You're now gonna remove the OBD2 plug. Use your panel tool, push in on the sides to release. We're now going to take the steering column shroud off. Turn your key to the on position to remove the screws on each side. It's the same screw on the other side. Once unscrewed, make sure your steering wheel is fully opened and press in on the sides and remove the shroud. You'll see that it has four tabs, two on each side. You're now going to remove the main ignition plug. The next plug is the ECU plug. It's the 30 pin plug right there. Okay, this concludes the disassembly. We're now going to take our T-harness and make our connections. We're going to plug back in our main ignition into our T-harness and take the other end and plug it back into the car. Make sure it clips in. Your kit might be sent with the plugs installed. If they are, just disconnect them until we get to the programming steps. We're now gonna plug in the OBD2 T-harness. Same thing, plug in, make sure it clicks in. Plug the other end back into the car's bracket. Make sure it clicks in.
Okay, the only last step is to connect our ground wire. We are now ready to ground our unit. We ground our unit to the metal right here. Once grounded, you can take your parking light auto light wires and route them up to the parking light switch. The parking light switch is um, the black plug behind the yellow plug. Make sure you do not touch or unplug the yellow plug. This is the parking light plug. You will see that it has labeled D3 in the corner. You want the green wire, which is pin 20, on the harness. Take your cutters and split this wire. Once this wire split from the plug side, you want to use and connect yellow with the orange stripe to the plug side with the provided connectors. Okay, now we just finished soldering our wires and we're going to plug the plug back into the car. Once plugged in, we're pretty much ready for programming. Make sure that you have the yellow wire cut. That's for automatic transmission. Okay, you're going to press and hold the button down. Plug in your main power, and you're going to release when the LED is blue and red. If you miss it, don't worry, it'll cycle back around. Once you let go, plug in your remaining connectors. Once plugged in, all your connectors, press and release the programming button two times. You, you will now take your key and turn it to the on position. The red and LED, blue LEDs will flash rapidly 10 times. Wait, the LED that's blue will flash rapidly. You can now turn your ignition off and programming is complete. Okay, now that programming is complete, you're gonna program your remotes included in your kit. Follow the directions on programming. Also, route your wire up to the top behind the rear view mirror to mount your antenna. To remote start the vehicle, you're gonna press and hold the button down until the LED flashes. Let go and your vehicle will start. Thanks for watching.